Two. Two missions. Wow. I am so screwed. <laughs> Damn. We actually found it. The third temple. Didn't need no stupid page anyhow. Not with my holy guidance. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. Bow before me, dumbass demons. I am your king. Still can't get over the fact that they're not demons, they're just people. God's touch really changed you, White. You're starting to sound just like the believers. Ew. You're just jealous. Maybe a little. No sign of Violet, huh? Doesn't mean she isn't here. We should be prepared to fight. You don't think she's already run off with the book? Nah. I'd imagine His Grace would have pointed me elsewhere if that were the case. Good point. I guess this is it then. The culmination of our efforts. Daunting, isn't it? If I'm being completely honest, I can't help but feel a bit envious of all the other Neons. Just out there, completing their missions. Seems a lot easier than this crap. Understandable. It makes sense to feel that way. We've been blindly following orders our whole lives. Now, we're taking control of our own destiny. Huh. They're such a cute duo. Um. There's no music. That's extremely intimidating. no demons here either. It's just a maneuver the area kind of level. Interesting. There she goes. I see. Go, Red, go. Why is the water red? Usually not a good sign, you know? That was really dumb of me. Okay, no music again. Oh. That would be why the water was red. That's... This is extremely unsettling. Um... Okay, let's keep it going. Okay. Shit got real pretty quickly. What is this place? It's horrible. Perfectly preserved massacre. You don't suppose these are all pieces of God, do you? Uh, it would make sense. That hand is enormous. Okay, hi. Do you hear that? Hear what? That would be God. Show yourself! Right, look. That hand, it's opening. Something's floating down from inside it. 
Oh. Hello, actual cutscene. Holy crap. This is it. Huh. No way. Is it? <laughs> we found the Book of Life. Ugh. Of course. Run! Um. I swear to God. Hold on! I'm coming for you! Ah! Yay! I did it! I finally blew up that stupid Red! If Red is actually dead, I'm... Alright. <clears throat> Violet? Ah! There you are, Mr. White. Thank goodness you came to bring me my book. That stupid hand wouldn't open for me no matter how many explosives I set off. Ugh. It only opens for those it deems worthy. Believe me, I've tried many times before. Great. All gangs here. Green! Violet, what have I told you about playing rough with White? I hate them both. This traitor? All he talks about is how much he resents you after all you've done for him. He was never planning to share the Book of Life with you, even though you're our leader. She's gonna die, isn't she? But look! Now I've got the book, while White is squirming beneath my feet like a worm. She's gonna die. Here, take it! You don't need him anymore with me by your side. What do you say I punish him for you? Then we can rule over heaven. Just the two of us. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Violet. So young. But already your mind's so wicked. You think you've proven yourself worthy, have you? My sweet, sweet girl. Even this ain't God gonna end himself well. denied you. Huh? <laughs> Damn, that line goes hard. <laughs> yep. I called it. Uh, why? <coughs> because he is a manipulative you. piece of garbage. You know better than either of us that the heart wants what it wants. And, well, I just have no intentions of losing my weight. Okay. <sighs> Bye, Violet. Violet. I am not heartbroken in the slightest. That, my friends, is what we like to call karma. You still cry out for her. Even now? It's not her fault that you poisoned her. You taint everything you put your hands on. <laughs> Perhaps you are right. You've always had such a soft heart, White. Malleable. Only calloused when I made it so. Did I kill this guy already? But that's precisely why I predicted God's hand would open for you all along. Hard to believe his clenched fist was all that shielded the book from the believers. And later from me. It's funny. I waited so many years for you to bring me this book. And despite all your kicking and screaming, I knew I could count on you in the end. God, he's so fucking disgusting. Delusional. I didn't do crap for you. Oh, but you did. Try as you might, you can never untether yourself from me. Who do you think left you the page? Yep, go figure. What exactly is your plan? That's why we saw him in the distance. To take down the believers. I wish not only to be freed from their control, but also from their hypocrisy and judgment. Red and I want the same. To restore heaven to what it once was. No, no. You misunderstand. Restoration is just a changing of the guard. 
we'd be leaving our judgment in the hands of God instead. That's where it's supposed to be. What exactly do you seek from God, boy? Forgiveness? A meaningless concept. Union with His holiness? Unlikely. What the hell do you know? You think we will be rewarded after all we've done? We are both past the point of redemption. We were set up to fail in a world of suffering that He created. We made our choices. God had nothing to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you see, White? We never had a choice to begin with. That's not true. There is always a choice. God cursed us to a meaningless existence and an even more meaningless afterlife. Yet, he sits upon his throne, writing our names in his book of forgiveness, as though that makes up for the pain we've endured. Has he ever once considered whether we forgive him? The believers could only kick God out of heaven with the book of death, but once I have both books at my disposal, I will annihilate it all. That's not exactly a solution. That kind of just ruins everything for literally everyone. You think hating your own miserable existence gives you the right to destroy everyone else's? You see it as an act of destruction. I see it as an act of mercy. Huh. And you're no better than the believers. Yeah. I'm not letting you leave here with that book. Oh. And just how do you plan to stop me? Uh, it's called an RPG. By doing something I should have done a long time ago. <laughs> you wish to duel? Well, who am I to deny you? Alright. I won't tell Red if you don't. Oh, shut the fuck up. You won't be able to say a damn thing with my sword down your throat! Fucking do it. Nope. Gotcha. Oh, interesting. Huh. Noted. Hold on.
Oh, holy shit. All right. Um. I'm glitched behind the water. Thankfully, I had 50 some odd ammunition on my RPG, so it was fine. Definitely not getting any metal now, though. Okay, what? What do I do? What do I do? Gotcha, gotcha. Nope. Okay, that was something. My health is critical. This is not good. What the hell? Okay. That's not good for me. I wasn't expecting him to turn into a biblically accurate angel, but here we are. Um. Okay, uh. Shit, shit, shit. And there we go. I'll take it. Still got silver. It's over, Green. Yes! Lay the final blow upon me! You are one weird dude. Yes! Yes! Uh, the shit. halo is destroyed! I am free at last! You see, White, it's just as I say. You are so hardwired to aid me that you will do so without me even needing to ask. I hate him. I hate him so much. Oh you my put god. You that goddamn halo in the path of my sword. I didn't do anything. Silly boy, don't be so humble. If I remember correctly, you were the one who chose to fight. Now the believers will be rendered helpless as I take their beloved book of death and begin my own day of judgment. No! Ugh. Once you come to your senses, why, you're welcome to join me. Half the credit is yours, after all. No! No! Get back here! I won't let you go! Of course, she's still kicking. Green! You ungrateful bastard! Please kill him. Oh my god, Violet, if you kill I him, I'm gonna be so lose. happy. Pitiful fool. You've already lost. I have made my choice. <gasps> yeah. But you know what I realized? We both chose wrong. Big Boom? 
big boom. Oh, the Crap. book of life is gone. Attention, Neons! We are in a state of emergency! Former champion Neon Green has been overcome by his sinful nature! He has stolen the Book of Death! It has even gone so far as to murder my beloved comrade! Karma. The lives of many more believers are being lost to Green as we speak! He is destroying the sanctity of heaven! Karma. Uh, nice to know Green is enjoying himself. There's one completely intact book. Any Neon who slays Green and recovers our book will be awarded to... Uh, no, uh, five years in heaven! Okay. Can't you just detonate his mask? Not without the Book of Death, you absolute buffoon! Yes, because we totally knew how... Wait, then they can't detonate ours. What about God? Why can't he help? Unholy scum, open your eyes! There is only us! The Believers! Yeah, okay. What? What the hell are we even doing here then? Screw this! The Believers can't control us anymore! You done fucked up. Where, where are you going? You must eliminate Green! Are you not enticed by heavenly delights any longer? <laughs> Wait! Wait! Don't go! Don't leave us alone to die! Bit late for that, bud. Wish I could be more smug about these assholes getting their just desserts, but you know, it just feels pointless now. Huh. Alright. The shit has officially hit the fan. Oh, the hell happened here? Oh, hello, Mr. White. Green stormed the place a short while ago. I was out getting coffee, but I imagine it was quite terrifying. <laughs> Poor Gabby. <laughs> and you're still gonna stay here and work? Where else would I go? I'm the receptionist. In that case, is Mikey busy? Now, Mr. White, we both know the answer to that question has never once concerned you. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but it's my last day here. I figured I'd pretend. Go on ahead, Mr. White. Mr. Mikey is waiting for you. Where the hell have you been? I, I filled Mikey in on everything I knew, but I didn't see what happened after the explosion. How the fuck is Red alive? I actually just now realized that. Didn't she supposedly fall to her death? Okay. Violet didn't make it. She destroyed the book, too. Sorry. I was just at the sermon. I just needed a second to collect my thoughts. You think I ain't got concerns, kid? This is the second day in a row I had to patch up one of you jokers! Oh, Mikey got her. Speaking of which, you holding up okay, Red? Thank fuck for Mikey. Every day that passes, I love this man even more. It'll be a bit before I can fight again, but hey, I'm not dead. <laughs> At this point, no explosion is big enough to do you in. They're not a reliable way to kill me. <laughs> Are you two even listening to me? Listen. Violet may have bought you some time from Green, but while he's distracted with the Book of Death, the pages of the Book of Life are still scattered out there, and the freaking Hour of Judgment is upon us. So if you want to stand a chance of success, then you'd better haul your ass out the door and collect those pages. Stand! We have to collect every page? I said haul your punk ass out the door, White! <laughs> What's the point? There's no way I can collect them in time, especially if Red's staying behind. Don't be like that, White. Apparently Raz has some sort of tonic that will speed up my recovery. You can't carry us until then? No, actually, I can't. Have you not seen what happens when it's just me out there making decisions? Mm. I lost Yellow. I lost Violet. I somehow made Green stronger. Hey, pull yourself together. The 
Of all the stinking DMs out there, the big guy chose you to entrust with his book. Well, he picked the wrong guy. I can direct my rage at Green all I want. But when all's said and done, I'm just as much at fault for the death of our teammates. Not just in life, but here too. What, I, I'm just supposed to ignore that? Because God gave me a book that I instantly lost? Green was right. I mean, how can I ever even hope to be redeemed when I'll always be his puppet through and through? Are you done yet? Because frankly, I'm sick of your pity party. Yeah. Thank you, Red. <laughs> you know how many years I participated in the Days of Judgment before you came along? The first few times I woke up at the Glass Ocean, all I could think about was how painful it'd be to see you again. My heart was heavy with resentment toward you, and it only got heavier, year after year. But still, you never showed. This was the first year I saw you. My feelings were boiling over as I watched you float to the surface of the glass ocean. But then, all of a sudden, you stopped, and you started to sink. Without even thinking, I grabbed your hand. He wasn't meant to be here. Huh. And in that instant, I let everything go. I pulled you out of the water. And when I looked at your stupid face, I found it so silly. All that time I'd spent agonizing over the past. I... I forgave you, White. So please, won't you forgive yourself? Hmm. Huh? This is a page from the Book of Life. What? A soul card? It's gotta be insanely overpowered considering the source. But what can it do? Hmm. On the bottom right, it said, it's the right thing. Whoa, Mikey! How'd you get over there so fast? Kid, you just freaking teleported! Oh. No way. Really? <laughs> Holy crap! I bet that's not the only thing that card can do. <laughs> then, I guess I'd better go out there and test it out. Huh. <laughs> yes! There's the white we all know and love. We're gonna get all those pages in no time. We? Oh? Yes, we. I'm not about to let you hog all the action. Besides, I clearly ain't seen any neons today. We got the homie with us. <laughs> Fine. I guess you can tag along. Yes! Gabby, take over for me. I'm heading out. Oh, can't Gabby Is come this too? A promotion, sir? It's whatever you want it to be, babe. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna be like on the side of my screen. Like Paimon from Genshin. <laughs> <laughs> 